Hey guys, it's Peter from 3 or 5 Drone Guys. We're here to make a video to introduce a new Inspire 1 Pro and a quick comparison against the original Inspire. Obviously, the main reason why they released this is the updated camera. The camera is just a uh, more professional level, uh, has more capabilities, a little more adjustments, and a little more customization with different lenses and different um, different electronic adjustments you could do for the new software. So. The basic difference is uh, the bigger sensor. So now this is a micro four thirds camera. So the sensor is quite a bit bigger compared to the original sensor. This sensor on the original X3 is uh, about the same size as what's on the GoPro. To make this camera work on the Inspire, obviously they changed a couple things. They changed um, some little booties on the bottom of the Inspire just to increase the height. So if you're in you know, grass or in certain areas, you have clearance for the camera to tilt all the way down and move around. So it can actually uh, initialize in the very beginning. Uh, and also the way it mounts, they actually move the camera a little bit further back to, you know, get it on the center of gravity. Besides that, actually, there are a difference in the, the new props. They actually lock on a little better, a little more secure. You know, they have a nice click to them, so you know that they're actually installed. We'll show you, you know, from a top view, but basically, you just have to line up the two dots, the two arrows on the white, with the white prop. Put them on, and they actually secure with a nice lock and click. So, that's the new props. Okay, so this is the new uh, X5 camera from DJI, the Micro Four Thirds camera. This is the original Inspire One camera, which is the X3. So here's a quick size comparison. As you can see, it's uh, it's quite a bit bigger. The Inspire One is still able to carry it with no problem. So as you see, it has the same connector as the original Inspire One, but way in the back right here, there's actually a little tab. And on the bottom of the Inspire, I don't know if you can see it, we'll show you with the GoPro, but this tab right here is where actually the back of this camera is actually going to slide into and then connect up there. So, right on top right here is where you actually have your uh, micro USB hookup so you can plug it into the computer and the uh, micro SD card, which is the same exact card that you get on the original Inspire, the 16 gig. Um, no, ultra class one. So the original uh, X3 will give you had a field of view of 94 degrees. Uh, the new X5 is has a little bit narrower field of view. This is actually a 10 millimeter on the original X3. Um, what it comes with now is a 15 millimeter. So it gives you um, 72 degrees field of view compared to the the 94. But what's nice is that the lenses are interchangeable and you can actually use the lens that the DJI required you before to use on the GH4. So the lens is actually uh, 12 millimeter, which is uh, gives you about an 84 um, degrees field of view. So we'll actually put this on later and do some quick comparisons between this lens, the DJI lens, and then the original X3 camera. There are quite a few lenses that you can use. The lenses that you can use are obviously the original um, DJI lens, which is a 15 millimeter f1.7, which is pretty quick. And then there's the you can use a Panasonic uh, 15 millimeter f1.7. Then you can have uh, there's an Olympus 12 millimeter, which is the one I just showed you, and then uh, the Olympus 17 millimeter. Um, the 12 millimeter is f2.0, which is the slowest lens. The rest are all 1.7s, except now DJI says they will have an option for a 17 millimeter Olympus, but that requires a different balancing weight, which is not available just yet. Also, this camera now actually gets uh, 16 megapixel um, stills compared to the original 12.4. So you get a little more megapixels, so you can zoom in, and just have a little more detail. The total weight of the new camera, with the SD card, the lens shade, and uh, the sun shade, excuse me, and everything, is, is actually 526 grams. So it's uh, quite a bit heavier, but it's still, you know, um, has a good weight. Also, the ISO is actually a little more sensitive on this camera. X3 camera, it only goes up to 3200. On the new camera, it actually goes to uh, 25,600, so uh, quite a bit higher. So, obviously, a bigger camera requires a bigger case. So, this is the actual case from the X5. This is the one from the X3. So, as you can see, the camera itself, I'll just have the way. The camera itself fits right in there with the lens already on it. Don't forget to check with DJI's website for software updates. Now we're going to take the new Inspire 1 Pro for a couple test flights.